Ordinary medicine plays a major role in personalized medicine. Times have changed rapidly and this genomic platform has really advanced patient care immensely during the last decade. The mission of the Department of Genomic Medicine is to improve the understanding and advancement of uh, genomic platforms to support patient uh, diagnostics and precision medicine for all of our patients at the hospital. The areas we focus on are patients with cancer, both adults with cancer and children with cancer. We also focus on patients with rare disease. That can be patients with immune deficiencies or it can be rare inborn errors. The platforms we apply are mainly whole genome sequencing, transcriptomic sequencing, as well as smaller panel-based sequencing platforms. One of the features that makes our department unique is that we are a very uh, multidisciplinary team. We also obtain samples directly from the patient, sometimes from the surgical ward. So we do the sequencing in the wet lab. Then we provide all the bioinformatic data processing and subsequently we do variant filtering, variant interpretation and classification and finally the diagnostic clinical report. We started doing genomic analysis uh, almost uh, 12 years ago and we started with late stage cancer patients, focus on rare cancers. Later, we're beginning to implement whole genome sequencing earlier and earlier. In some cases, we actually do whole genome sequencing at the point of diagnosis of the tumor. This case means that we can treat the patients early on with the targeted therapies, and we believe that the impact of the targeted therapy will be higher if we treat them earlier in the, the treatment trajectory. The whole genome sequencing and implementing that has been a game changer in my field. Making whole genome sequencing upfront diagnostics has enabled us to find diseases that we've never diagnosed before. In Denmark, we have universal health care, and we think that citizens of all parts of Denmark should be able to get access to this novel diagnostic option. So we built a national anemia network where we implemented diagnostics on a national MDT, uh, where we every month meet discuss patients, including the whole genome sequencing to provide precise genetic diagnosis to patients from all over Denmark. Automation of the sequencing lab has really been a game changer for uh, this transition from uh, doing the genomic analysis more manually to where we are today, where we have a high throughput sequencing lab where most of the processes are actually automated. For some patients, time is really everything, and particularly uh, critically ill children, cancer patients. So I think the faster we can deliver the data, the more clinically relevant it will be for the patient. In our department, we have tight collaboration between all the professions, and that uh, is important because then it's the clinical question that really uh, seep into all the processes that we have we make a, a palette of results that we provide to the person who is doing the interpretation and communicating with the, uh, with the treating doctor. And that means that we have to perform uh, a lot of compute in a very short time and we're using a very large infrastructure to achieve this. This means that we have to orchestrate the processes, the information in a very tight manner. And it also means that we have to integrate with all the systems that have the right information. The Department of Genomic Medicine collaborate with a broad range of national and international collaborators. Some of the national collaborators are the Danish National Genome Center, which we have a strong collaboration with and supply all the sequencing for region east of Denmark. We share data, for example, through the ClinVar database, and we also upload and provide all our insights into the database, and it's really what brings the field forward. In the US, we collaborate with the Novo Nordisk Center for Genomic Mechanism of Disease, so we are able to really bring the latest knowledge to benefit and optimize our patient care here in Copenhagen. There has been an organic interest in tech transfer, and more specifically, there is a new sequencing technology called Codec that detects mutations with high sensitivity and is very cost efficient compared to other uh, approaches, which has already been tech transferred from 
the Broad Institute where it was invented to the Danish community and now is being piloted in the clinical world in Denmark. This project is really elevating Denmark's position in the field of genomics because in the longer term, you can actually push new technologies directly into the clinic in Denmark with very little red tape. So uh, where the Broad Institute is really a powerhouse in, in developing these new techniques and databases and analytical approaches, Denmark can implement them very easily into universal healthcare. The way I see the future of genomics in healthcare, one of them will be uh, front-loading of these genomic platforms to support faster exact diagnosis and personalized treatment. Another feature I see for the future is genome for life. In a lifespan, you will have different diseases and different symptoms and for that the same genome can be reused. So I think we'll play a role in implementing this genome for life in Denmark also. There's new long read sequencing techniques, polygenic risk scores, single cell sequencing, and I think it will really play a big part in future healthcare.